the help to do what it talks about is differentiating the function before you substitute so let's say we are giving this example limit x tending to 2 and we have it to be x square minus 4 over x minus 2 okay this question though factorization can work on it where you can also you help it to solve it but it depends on anyone that works out of the three rules one has to work on the question because there are sometimes two rules now or two rules of it rather can work on a particular question so for this question the hobby tool and factorization also works so let's use the hobby tool and do it so you differentiate put the numerator and the denominator so when you differentiate the numerator you're going to have two x there okay so over when you differentiate x you're going to have one right so you then substitute these two into this x substitute these two here into this x so we're going to have two this so the final answer <laughs> will be four so it's as simple as that guys same is applicable to this one we solved limit x tending to a negative number so we have x square minus 4 over x square minus x minus 6 okay so this when you differentiate the numerator going to have 2x over so this denominator going to have 2x minus 1 so when you plug in negative 2 here and here you're going to have 2 times negative 2 over 2 by negative 2 minus 1 so we're going to have negative 4 over negative 4 2 times negative to negative 4 minus 1 and we have minus 5 so you can see everything so that's a 4 by 5 okay so we yeah, have limit extending to pi okay then x this is tan x over sine two x okay so to simplify this you have to at least apply the help to do it so to help them differentiate tan x you are going to have sec square x you're going to have over when you differentiate sine two x you're going to have two cos two x so you're going to have so you break it down the more sec is the same thing one over cos so sec square is the same one over cos square x over two cos two x now Take notes of these notes in trigonometry. Cosec is something as 1 over sine. Then sec is something as 1 over cos. Cot is something as 1 over tan. So, very, very important to take notes of this in case of solving problem involving three, three shoes. Okay, so having known that this keeps simplifying this, so this will be equal as limit x tend to pi will be so this up to two going to one one over cos square pi over so when you put pi in this x respectively, so you're going to over two cos two pi okay so when you simplify this the more when you punch it my calculator we're going to have one over cos two pi okay we'll give you minus one okay something like minus one square 
over 2 and because 2 pi will give you 1 so when you break this down the more we're going to have 1 over 1 over 2 so which will be equal to 1 over 1 times 1 over 2 so the final answer will be half so this is the basis of the field of limits and introduction to limits of a function and with this we are coming to the end of the class i hope you learned something interesting if you're new to the channel ensure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel for more videos for more so like share and comment on this video let me have a few regard what you learned from this class if you seem to have any specific question to ask feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i will ensure to give you a response that's it for this class guys thanks for watching this video